series on how to make a collective card game. And welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a collective card game in Unity. In this first video, we'll start setting up our project, and then we'll create a card class that will be used to build our card database. Let's begin. So to get this project started, we're going to go over here, we're going to left click, and we're going to go to create and then folder, and we're going to create a new folder called scripts just to keep ourselves organized. And then we're going to create a new C sharp script and we're simply going to call this card. And this is going to be the class from which all our cards will be built off of. So we're going to open up our visual studio and up here, we're going to put system dot serializable. Now there's going to be another video where we're going to go over in more detail serializable objects as we build our cards. So we're going to come back to this idea in probably two or three videos. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these right here. And now I'm actually going to do something that's going to create an error later on and that I should be erasing this or deleting this mono behavior right here because I'm just basically building a class called card. And I want you to learn exactly how the classes work and how the static variables work. So I'm going to leave this here a moment and later on we're going to delete it because I want to show you the error that's going to incur. And I'm doing this because I've talked to some people about uh, other tutorials they have taken and they ran into some problems because they weren't deleting this and they couldn't figure out why they were getting this error and it kind of caused them to stop doing the tutorial and they weren't able to learn about how to make card games or the project they wanted created. So just keep that in mind that there's going to be an error in the future and it's going to have to do with that. So right now we're building our class and we're going to create a few variables. We're going to be creating a public, let's make sure I can spell today. I'm creating a public int and we're going to call this int ID because in every card game there's usually an identification for a card. We're going to be creating a public string and we're going to call that the card name. And then we're going to create another public int and we're going to call that cost. Usually there's some sort of resource uh, like mana or something and that's what that's going to be and then another public int and we're going to call this power. This is just some sort of strength that the card has for those of you who play lots of card games like I do. And we're going to create a public string and we're going to call that the card description. There's always a box on every card and it has a description of what that card is. And down here, we're going to create public card and below that we're going to put public card again and in here is where we're going to pass the variables through so make sure that up here I declared my variables with a lowercase letter in front of each but these are going to be uppercase so when I write in id down here this is going to be the variable that gets passed through and it's different from the declared variable. This is going to be put into this function right here. So, and we're going to say there's a string and we're going to call it card name. And then we're going to have an int and we're going to call it cost and the int that we call power and our string called card description. And then our curly brackets. And in here is where we're going to use these to define these, or I'm sorry, these to define these. So we're going to say when we pass this through that ID is going to equal to ID our name is going to equal 
card name and then cost is going to equal to uppercase C cost and then power is going to equal power and if you're not getting the pattern card name is going to equal I'm sorry card description I think I may have put it nope I didn't card description is going to equal card description so please take a moment to make sure that you have on one side or there's a difference between these lowercase variables here and these uppercase ones because if not then you're going to get some problems with your code so now we're going to go back into unity and we're going to create a new c sharp script and we're just going to call this one hard database and this is where we're going to build our individual cards when we go over here this class is going to build a card but now we need to tell it we want to be able to make individual cards and that we're going to use this script to do that and we're first going to get rid of these two guys and in here we're going to type public static and we'll discuss that in a second the word list and in here we're going to put card and that goes back to our card script that we just made and the name of this list is going to be card list and that's going to equal a new list which is coming from card and parentheses and at the end a semicolon and what's going on here with the idea of a, a static function or a static method is that we want to be able to have the information to be global throughout our project we're going to, we want to be able to extract the information of our cards throughout the project because everything's going to interact in that manner so normally when you create functions they're normally just uh, used for that script in this case, we want to be able to use our information throughout a lot of different scripts or portions of our project. So that's where the idea, that's one of the ideas behind static methods. So down here, we're going to say void awake. And in here is we're going to put our individual cards. We're going to do this first one, card list dot add a parentheses and then a new card and then another parentheses and in that and I'll explain this in a second put zero comma put a quotation mark put none comma space zero comma zero comma and then quotation marks and then put none again. And at the end of this, put a semicolon. So now here we're, we're, we're adding a new card. Here's our new card. And here is the information that coincides with passing through this function. This first one is an int called ID. Now this is really just gonna be a blank card. The next one's actually, let's cut and paste and put some more information here. I'm sorry, copy and paste. And we'll just put control V to uh, create a new one and actually I'll just change this up and we'll put one and we'll put here we'll just put human and the human let's say two and one and in the description we'll put this is a human just for now so we went back here and we created these variables for the ID of the card, the card name, its mana cost, its strength or power, and its card description. And if you look here, that's what these are right here. This first number is its ID. The second number is this string, the card name. We're just going to call it human right now. And the next one is its mana cost. 
And that's it right there. That's two. And it's power. I just said one. These are just arbitrary numbers right now. We'll change them. And it also has a card description. And that's right here in this string. Everything in parentheses. I'm sorry, quotation marks is a string. And it's all going to be placed into this function right here. That's why we named all these things the same thing. ID, card name, cost, power, and card description. So now let's just go ahead and make a bunch of other cards. Let's copy, control V to paste, and we'll make a few of these. I think that should be good, and we'll make different types of cards. I don't know, we'll call this one Elf. We'll change his ID to two, because they're gonna go in order, zero, one, two, three. And um, I don't know, we'll just make this three, we'll make this three, the elf will be more powerful. And in here, we'll just put this as an elf. And we'll change these up. And the next one we'll call a dwarf. And we'll change his numbers, I don't know, four and four. This is a dwarf. And we'll make this one. What do we what do we have left here? I don't make my troll. Why not? And say five. And five. And this is a troll. And this information will be printed on our cards. So let's just fix our little misspelling here. Put a T right there, hit save. And now we have a class to make our cards and we have a list of cards to make. And, and these were just things I came up with. You can, you can call these names anything. These are arbitrary. You can call it warrior, mage, whatever you like. I'll probably change them later. I just threw this out there just to have something to write in there. And now that we got our card database, in the next video, we're gonna start making our cards. So that's it for today. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and support me on Patreon. And as always, a very big special thanks to my Patreon supporters. See you next time.